All right, all right, all right. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hopefully I'm not. Good morning, what's going on everybody? It is freezing today. This is El Nino weather right here, enough to get you, get you, get you sick. It's been 70 plus for the last two days and now it's back down to a high of 50 and it's like 40 something right now. So pretty frigid to start the day off. Hey, it's Friday and tomorrow is my birthday. That's the first thought. Uh, but more important than that, today is my brother's birthday. Me and my brother are three years and one day or two years and 364 days apart, something along them lines. And I haven't spoke to my brother in a couple of months now. We had a little falling out. Didn't really like that that happened. So I think I'm gonna try to give my brother a call or at least a text today. And I hope that he has a great birthday today and a very special shout out to my brother. We've had a very on and off again type of relationship throughout our lives. Mostly because of all the trouble that I got in in my past. But, you know, it's his birthday and I hope he's having a great day today. I hope he's able to have a great day today. Um, again, tomorrow's my birthday. Tomorrow's going to be the first day in a while that I haven't been working, which is crazy. It already feels crazy even thinking about that. doesn't even feel like my birthday. I have not been this broke on my birthday since, well, for a long time. And I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it. It's not like I usually go all out on my birthday, at least... I don't think that I, I, I do that. Maybe we'd have taken a trip somewhere, maybe a nice dinner, um, but can't afford to do that this year. No boo-hoo about it, it's just day. It's just what the cards have in store right this second. I've got something even better than, you know, a trip or a fancy dinner tomorrow. We got a little Friendsgiving. A um, couple of friends that I have coming over, a couple of my wife's friends are coming over. It's gonna be a really, really awesome time. So, money can't buy that, you know what I mean? What else? I uh, made a lot of things to share with you guys this morning. So, we're gonna be getting on floors today. I'm gonna stop at Lowe's real quick. I gotta hopefully get a couple of transition strips. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning thinking about transition strips. And uh, yeah, hopefully they got them. They say they've got four. I could benefit from having three. Damon's texting me telling me he's gonna be late today, but you know, whatever, it is what it is. We've been working hard these last four months. So, um, gotta get the transition strips. So there's that. And, uh, okay, let's talk about houses real quick. Um, so you remember I was saying that the house around the corner, well, the, the house right next door, I thought that, you know, it was for sale. They had home inspection and then, and then we buy houses was over there. Well, the house was contingent and now it's not. Now it's backlisted for sale. Contingent means it's under contract kind of, like it's probably gonna sell. There's an offer on it. It's been accepted. Like they're in the process of trying to sell the house. They've got a potential buyer. Not no more. It's backlisted for sale, no more contingent. So that's crazy. Also, they just had another house in the neighborhood come up for sale. This one's a 3-1, this one's 155. Uh, only one bathroom. Definitely a, a, a renovation house, a house that needs renovating. Um, kind of crazy. M would consider that house if I was able to consider that house. Getting ready to hit the interstate right now. Let's go to Lowe's and hope they got these transition strips because we need them to do these floors. And let's try to get these floors rocking and rolling this morning. Good morning. It's my birthday Eve today, my brother's birthday. Hope you guys are having a great day. Tomorrow will be my first day off. First day off in a while. And uh, looking forward to trying to get as much done today as we possibly can. So let's go get it. Leaving from Lowe's. Got the transition strips. Uh, they weren't the ones that I thought I was going to be getting, but they're the runner-up. And I matched them on the floor because they still have that flooring in store. And they look identical. So that's what we got. I was able to get three of those. I didn't even see the ones that they said that they had. I um, was able to get three of those. I also bought four 4x10 four registers 
for my uh, vents in the floor because we don't have any of those and we're going to need a bunch of those and i was able to get four they're ten dollars a piece so i spent 118 dollars i was able to put that on my lowe's credit card because i returned that fan that was 109 dollars and i had 160 on my lowe's card so i'm definitely pushing money around to you know do whatever i got to be able to do with it at least with what i've got today those transition strips and uh well, the transition strips especially. I can do all of the flooring. I've got enough transition strips to do all flooring. So that's good. And then, shit, I think I do. I didn't even think about. That's crazy. How you got two buses right at the railroad crossing and they're both having to stop to open their doors. Crazy. Yeah, <clears throat> should have enough transition strips. Let me rephrase that. Should have enough transition strips to do everything that I need to do. Anyways, looks like it's just gonna be me this morning. Hopefully Damon will show up. Uh, I know he's got something he's gotta take care of. So, <clears throat> no big deal there. And I'm excited. I am definitely looking forward to getting on these floors. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of paint, a lot of cleanup prior to even beginning the floors, but it shouldn't be long and we'll be into it. Laying down that LVP. Let's see what this is gonna turn out looking like, folks. Good morning to you and let's make it a great day. All right, 8.30 in the morning and been doing touch-ups. So first thing I did was I put the shelves in the cabinets. Nothing too major with that. A couple of shelves in here. Well, got shelves going in. Well, not all of them. I ran out of, uh, I ran out of my little things. Um, did shelves, done, well, I guess I gotta do that one. I ran out of pins for this one. Uh, had to do some touch-up paint around where that ceiling fan was at, so I had to take that cap off to do that. Had to do some touch-up paint around there. I'm getting ready to put that light in. Had to take that plate off to do some touch-up paint around that. I'm going to finish up my touch-up paint. I realized that none of this area here is semi-gloss. You can see how that's shining right there. Yeah, it's all flat. So son of a bitch all of that needs to be rolled i'll probably do that when i break into the semi-gloss white i'm gonna hit all of the trim and the door one more time and then i'll be ready to get into floor so probably by lunchtime i'll be on flooring wonder how much flooring i can get done by the end of the day we'll see all right folks it is about that time um getting ready to get into the flooring we're so close to being ready for flooring so it's 10:41 in the morning and bang painted some trim in here had to make a repair up there real quick uh, all trim has been painted so we've got at least one coat of paint on the trim shit i forgot to hit this whole fucking door son of a bitch oh well i'll hit that another time all trim is painted. Damon's here. He's working on my little window door. So that's going to go for there. I forgot that I had to cut the, cut the thing back to make that work. I don't think I'm doing all that. I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Oh, shit. It's all good. Yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing is trying to uh, make it work some kind of a way. Maybe I'll cut one down or something and then use a piece of wood and I don't know. We're going to figure that out. We're not thinking about that right this second. Oh, by the way, boom, all this has been cleared out. Everything's cleared on the floor. So yeah, we're ready. This is the first room I'm going to start in. I'm going to do this room, boom, transition strip, boom, do this room, transition strip, transition strip. And then that's it. We're going to run into that closet right there. We got a lot of work that needs to happen in that closet. So, yeah, we'll get to that. Also, uh, boom, put that light right there. Got that sucker up there. Got a caulk around up there. But I think that's a nice little hangy do. You know what I mean? Got the hangy do joint right there, boy. Hey, and we got the accent lighting in there. Somebody said, Joe. You need to put the accent bulbs in the lights that need the accent bulbs. I hear you. You are absolutely correct. However, when we're down, when we, when we need lighting, when lighting is imperative, 
it doesn't really matter, you know? Whatever bulbs you got uh, on hand, just use them. Just use them. We're getting ready to get into this flooring. So there's nothing much to report other than we've been in here painting and the kitchen is so close, man. So close. And once these uh, floors get in here, hey boy, it's gonna be rap city. We're gonna paper the floors after we get them laid, after we've shown them. Paper on the floors, baseboard, whatever we got, <laughs> quarter round. I uh, might not even do quarter round. If we're doing the base, well, I got both. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do it all up. All right, let's continue getting this thing cleaned up and get ready to do what? What are we getting ready to do? You don't know? I've been talking about it for six days now. No idea. Windows? No. Not windows. Tile? No. Not tile. Oh, speaking of floors, you knew that. Uh, speaking of tile, while it's on my mind, hey look, I don't know if I've shared with you guys or not, I'm broke. So broke that Brian hit me up the other day and I told him, hey look, I'd love to have you but I can't afford you and I have not heard another word from the man. I may never hear from him again. How crazy is that to think? But, getting back to how broke I am, folks, when we were talking about doing tile on these mantelpieces, this one and the one over there, you know, we're talking about some real fancy tile. The tile is gonna be $150 for each thing. $150 here, $150 there, that's $300. So what I'm saying is, is I got some leftover subway tile, right? You know, hey, times is tough back in something subway time maybe Joe that's kind of cheesy looks like a public restroom there should be a urinal right there <laughs> oh god that's what somebody's gonna say too when they come look at this where's the urinal at because that's what that looks like it looks like a fucking prison bathroom stall all right folks we're getting ready are you ready? I know I'm ready. I am so fucking excited to do this flooring. I've never been more excited to do any work in my life than to do this flooring. So excited, in fact, I couldn't even sleep. I woke up early, four o'clock this morning, ready to go do the flooring. Wish I, wish I could have gone and done it right then and there. It'd be done by now. It would have been done by now. All right, let's get on this. All right, so uh, lunchtime and making steady progress over there at the house. Uh, I was gonna film before leaving, but I said, you know what, let me just hold off and I'll show y'all when it's all said and done. So I'm halfway through the laundry room with the flooring right now that's moving, uh, you know, fairly easy. I like doing the flooring, nothing too complicated with that. Um, what you got going on there, Stick? Oh wow, I think they were throwing balloons off of the bridge. Or maybe a body. I'm not sure if they were spreading ashes or dropping a body off. That was kind of crazy. And I think they were dumping balloons too, which I think is illegal. But anyways, yeah, so uh, halfway through the laundry room, the kitchen is ready for the flooring as well, so that's a good thing. And yeah, man, uh, my birthday Eve. I'm gonna swing by the old grocery store, see if I can get a cake for my wife as well. She's got all these people coming over tomorrow for Friendsgiving, and it's also on my birthday, and I don't know if it's really like a little birthday party for me, but you know, my wife's birthday's in a week, and I feel like we should be celebrating our birthdays together, and if you're gonna do all of this for me, you know, the least that I can do is get you a cake, right? It's actually really the most that I can do right now, because I can't really afford shit, but no big deal. So I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, go let the dogs out, get back over to the house. We cleaned up quite a bit as well. Uh, Damon got there about nine o'clock, so he wasn't you know, too late. He had something he had to take care of, so he let me know, and I was cool with that. Uh, so no big deal there. We're gonna work late today. We're not working tomorrow. I uh, was able to get in contact with my brother just via a text message. Said, hey man, haven't talked to you in a long time, man. Hope all is well. Hope today's an awesome day for you. You deserve it. and. I will look forward to talking to you soon. So, again, shout out to my brother. All right, uh, other than that, nothing too crazy to report. Let me go take care of all of this and I'll get with you guys in a little bit. Oh, you, you, can, you can stop, you can stop recording. 
Oh shit, it's only me now. I mean, I ain't got. Hi, right, just getting back over to the house. Didn't take long with that at all. I should have known that I should have known that was gonna be a fucking waste of time. Went to the grocery store. Went to the grocery store to try to get a, a birthday cake, you know? They got the bakery deli. The women back there, they cutting up the sandwich meat for, for, some, for some guy. And I'm waiting, I'm being patient. And I'm waiting. And I'm being patient. And I'm <laughs> And I'm waiting. And I'm being patient. And then they finally get done cutting up this. I mean, I don't know if he just got a stimulus check or what, but dude had every fucking kind of sandwich meat that they. Dude must eat a lot of sandwiches. So, anyways, I said, hey, can I get some writing on a cake? They said, oh, no, we ain't got a cake decorator. I should have been like, you know what? Give me the motherfucking ice and I'll do it myself. I know ain't nobody trying to work for real. So, I felt defeated. I was like, damn, man, I ain't gonna be able to get this damn cake with the writing on it. Turns out I'm gonna do it my damn self. Tomorrow I'll go get a cake. I won't even waste my time with the cake decorator section in the bakery. Do it my damn self, because they sell the little squeeze cheese icing, right? I might even try to do a caricature on the fucking cake. Something like that. All right, anyways, I'm getting ready to get back on floors. Hey, how's it looking? It's looking good, but I can't show it to you right now. Let me get done with the laundry room, and then when I'm in the kitchen, we'll have that nice time lapse going on. It'll be like, motherfucker! That's how it'd be, right? All right, it's 1.52 Friday, and show you where I'm at. Bing! Right here. So starting in this room right here, uh, this is the kitchen, and you'll notice my nice gap right there. Hella gap over there, and right there. Um, it's gotta be that way. Gotta be that way to get that floor to be straight. The walls ain't straight. Craig, the walls ain't straight. Looks like we're gonna have another transition piece right there as well going into the pantry. I'll show you the laundry area when I get further along, but, and really because it's not cleaned up yet. So, I still got flooring all over it. Ah, yeah. All righty then. So, sitting over here working, not really checking my phone. But my wife would text me and tell me Kyle Rittenhouse got to quit it. Boy, though. I know a lot of people mad about that shit. <sighs> Personally, I'm not. Personally, I am not. I don't really, well, I don't care anymore. I mean, I kind of like talking, talking the, the you know, the, the touchy subjects. I understand that there was a protest going on. For who the protest was for? Uh, you know, those, those folks had every right to protest. Every right. And, uh, you know, Kyle, he wanted to go out there and protect businesses. That's what he was out there doing, supposedly. And uh, the jury thought that he was too, right? And also defended himself. That's a big part of that as well. Damn, that's a lot, that's a lot of spacers right there, right? Yeah, man. Uh, no matter how you feel about whether it was murder or not, uh, or self-defense. That's not really what my argument about the situation is. Um, my argument is, well, look who he killed. You know? He killed two sex offenders. Two dudes who... I don't know. That's just my, my thinking on the situation. Uh, it's crazy because on TikTok, I saw a video from that night in question and what's crazy is damn that is gonna be a bitch right there I might have to get that in there uh, now what's crazy is is I guess one of the guys that he killed was like hey shoot me you won't shoot me shoot me and the TikTok video said Kyle out here granting wishes that shit was kind of funny I mean I know it's fucked up but it was kind of funny in my opinion, my humor is lost on a lot of people. When I heard this, I think one thought that came to mind was, you know, I wonder how many prison YouTubers had already jumped on that clout chasing exploration. And I can't say nothing. I've done it before myself. I definitely chased the clout for the high profile stories that you hope are going to bring in the views. And sometimes they do. But I wonder how many people had done the video 
Uh, I wonder what Kyle's going to be like, what Kyle Rittenhouse would be like in prison. I just got to be honest, I'm glad I didn't do that video. Glad I ain't got an answer for that. Well, I thought that he was going to go to prison. He should have went to prison. Would be probably how I would have to address that. Like anybody else who may have done that video might have to. It's not right. He should have gone to prison. Yeah. Well... I'll tell you like this, I didn't think he was going to get off. There was no way I thought he was getting off. I thought it was going to be a hung jury. And as, you know, even when it took days of deliberation, I still thought it was going to be a hung jury. I was under the impression somebody on that jury, somebody on that jury wanted him guilty. Somebody did. But it turns out, it doesn't seem like that's the case. And in fact, crazy. Whew. Crazy to think that I'm only on the second row here. Second row. All right, All right let me uh, rock and roll with this and I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. 3.30 in the afternoon and bang. Ain't there yet, folks. Ain't there yet, but we're getting there. So I'm getting ready to go into the dishwasher area and into the stove well maybe i'll get to the stove area it's going to get a little bit easier now because i'm in the short run so hopefully it's going to it's not hard I, I i don't want it to sound like it's hard it's hard on the knees that's for damn sure see that see i got that uh life alert knee pads down there whoo all right just wanted to share with you guys that I'm still here. We're still working. Friday, my brother's birthday, my birthday Eve, and we're getting it, 3.30. We'll be out of here in an hour and a half. I'm not sure we're gonna have this done, but I'll be damn close. I'll be damn close. All right, talk with you in a little bit. All right, it's closing time, folks, and you can probably tell by the tone of my voice that, well, we didn't get it done today. We got pretty freaking close, though. Um, I don't know if I anticipated that we would get this done today. I guess I, I, I was hoping that we would while we were doing it. Uh, we got far. I'm about to show you everything that we got. So first, let me show you the laundry room. Bang. Boy, if that don't look like a brand new freaking house right there. Uh, transition strips going to be right there. We'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, man. Hey, this shit here, boy. Hey, this shit here is right 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 up underneath those pieces of base i remember when we were or up underneath those pieces of casing i remember when we were doing the other house man we were cutting like that much off and you know having a big ass gap for the casing in here uh we're gonna end up with a gap like that for sure right uh over there on that one it's just nothing i can do about it it's gonna be what it's gonna be look i eyeballed this to start in this kitchen and man that joint runs freaking perfectly we're up underneath of the dishwasher really good uh just kept running it up under the dishwasher anyways we got to right here that's as far as we got my knees man my knees can't take it no more i ain't spent this much time on my knees since never never well since the other day doing that tile work uh like this floor this floor is super super sturdy super you know nice flooring this shit goes in really well and even when you got a little bit of like uneven shit on the ground like this floor just really compensates for that well so that's good all right let me show you one blunder i think but i i don't even know if it's really all that much of a blunder or how noticeable it's going to be in the end i noticed it by the time i noticed it there wasn't nothing i could do about it and you be the judge so boom there's your laundry room there's your kitchen there's your transition between the two uh the flooring is just off a little i mean you know the lines don't line up perfectly i guess in a perfect world that should definitely be the case it should definitely be the case but there's going to be a freaking transition strip right there so uh i don't know i don't think anybody's going to notice that but me but man that looks good looks good y'all so 
Don't know how far we're going back into this cornerback here. I'll probably just run a little bit back there until um, you can't see it. And that's going to be about it. Uh, we got the kickboard, the toe boards going down. So that's going to be good right down there. And then I'm going to have these little slivers right here. And we'll go over that way. We'll go that way. We'll go that way. So I was concerned that I wasn't going to have enough flooring. Uh, and I was concerned that I was going to use a lot of flooring. There's only nine pieces per box, but these pieces are freaking huge. Uh, and in this kitchen alone, I've only used six boxes so far. So far, it'll probably be eight in total by the time I'm done, or a little bit less than eight. And that is great considering the fact that when I started the kitchen, I had 38 boxes, and now I got 32. So hell yeah, wow! It just looks nice up in here. Uh, Damon sanded and painted. Oh my god, eh, it looks a little bit better than it did at least. Yeah so that's it folks hey look um i think by the time you guys are seeing this video when will you see this video oh you'll see this video tomorrow so you'll be seeing this video on my birthday and hopefully on my birthday i'll just be able to chill relax enjoy some good company and it'll be my first day off in a little while a good little while so probably should take heed to that rest I don't anticipate any gifts for my birthday. Too old for gifts. Too poor for gifts at, currently at this moment. Uh, but I think that rest will just be priceless. I might even sleep in tomorrow. I don't even know how to do that. I get up at 4 o'clock every single morning. You guys let me know what you think about the flooring. Hey, does it look good? Does it look bad? Oh, Joe, your lines, they should have lined up. And uh, yeah, I know. I think the flooring looks amazing. I think that the... Uh, the light tannish color really uh, sets off those go that gold hardware in here. I think it really does. Yeah, did good. Made sure all my lines were spaced out accordingly and yeah. All right, that's it folks, I'm getting up out of here. Have a great one. And I'll look forward to talking with you guys again real soon.